Hey guys, welcome back to Audit Rewind. If you are new here, consider subscribing and leaving a like on today's video to show your support for the channel. This is a reaction channel where I react to my favorite audit moments that I found on the internet for today, starting with Pink Camera Magic. Now I'll leave a link down below to this auditor and the original video. This is a pretty crazy example of how some cops will try anything they can to stop people exercising their freedom of speech right and their freedom of press right under the First Amendment of the Constitution. This is a pretty heated debate and exchange between officers and some ladies and I think a guy who are holding up signs exercising their freedom of speech. The cops don't like it claiming that they are on yeah, I think it was city property and they mention in the video that they need to leave and they're attempting to trespass some guys. This is crazy. Let's get started. I'm going to react to what happens. Hey! Hi. Hanging out? Yeah. Looking. Yeah. Can I help you? What's your name, ma'am? Uh, it's McClary. McClary, but, uh, thank you. And I'm with Kirby. We're both with Kirby. Oh, right on. What How are you guys signs? doing? Pardon me? What are the signs for? Are the signs for? Yeah. Oh, um... Just spread the message. You want to see it? I, if you don't mind. Um, it says need change. Need change? Yeah. Okay, so you can't be on the city property with that? No, that's that's not so, true. Um, you know, this is a traditional public forum. It's like I the most can't. basic. So they called us and asked us to come out. So oh. that's what we're here for. They called you? Yeah, we got a phone call. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you, you better go investigate then. You should talk to them. I'm sorry? You should go talk to them and investigate then. Um, See what the problem is. We, we got the dispatch call from it, so that's why we came out. Oh, okay. So they're oh, asking okay. that you guys leave the premises. You're, you're, wait, 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 wait. What? They're asking y'all to leave the premises. Really? No, then not, this is the city of. For... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm here for. All right, ma'am. So, city manager, they're requesting you leave the premises. Why? Because it's private property. No, it's not. It's public. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's it's private property. Okay. And if you refuse, it's to not leave, private. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and argue, okay? Okay. So, who pays for it? Again, I'm not going to sit here and or argue. Or who owns it? Okay. So, if you don't leave the McClary? premises, you'll be issued a CTW, which is a criminal trespass warning. And then if you refuse to leave then, you'll be arrested for trespassing. You, so, I will be arrested so, for trespassing if I don't leave City Hall public property, okay. correct? Is, you're saying that, McClary, you're going to put risking yourself on that, right? This is private property, okay? Mm hmm So, It I'm is not. You, this is public. Okay. You need to leave the premises because they're requesting you leave. It's just like if you were at QT and they didn't no, want to No, it's not. And this, all of the above. You're wrong okay. and you're going to find out the hard way and fuck the police. Okay. There's an so ordinance right there. Can, go ahead and can I have a dollar? Um, no, ma'am. I'm soliciting. Go, so, so. all right. Day. Only under threat of, only because you're going to arrest me if I don't, right? Have a great day, ma'am. Are you going to arrest me if I do? If okay. I stay here, are you going to arrest okay. me? Again. Will you arrest me if I stay here? They are requesting you to leave their private property. It's not private. So, if you could please leave the premises, that would be appreciated. All right. Well, I think you're going to learn that this so. is public. Do you know okay. what the difference between private and public is? Okay. Are you going to leave or are they going to issue the CTW? Uh, they can't trespass. But I'm going to leave under duress because I know then that way you're going to arrest me, right? So again. Are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? Hey, Officer Lee. Again. Ali, Officer Lee, are you going to arrest me if I don't leave? I, have, I don't know what my partner's already told you. What you I mean, what what would I, what, what, weren't you guys in the same meeting? Before I answer that question, what has my partner explained to you already before I came out here? That I got to go. Okay. And what else did she explain? But that's why I'm asking you. Do I? Are you gonna arrest me if I don't leave? Have you been okay. asked to leave? Yeah. Okay. So what else am I going to I'm. I'm asking you a question. You, you guys work for me. You will be issued a. <laughs> you guys are some cunts. Pompous cunt one and pompous cunt two. While I was watching this video, I was screaming at the TV. Yep, that's right. I watch YouTube on my TV. <laughs> kind of weird. I don't know. You should try. It's actually really enjoyable. But. When I was watching Pink Camera Magic having this interaction with the law enforcement officers, I was screaming at the TV. What on earth is going on here? Because right now we have an example of a lady who is standing up for her rights and for some weird reason these other officers here seem to be making no sense. How on earth could they trespass her from city hall property if it's taxpayers funded, you know, grounds? One, she doesn't seem to be harassing anyone. Two, I can't see any signs of hate or, uh, you know, controversial things on her sign. And also, I don't understand how the police think they actually have the ability or the grounds to do that. 
One, they don't have any reasonable articulable suspicion that he's committed a crime, and two, in my opinion, they would not have the power to trespass her or even arrest her for not leaving the property. It's pretty crazy nowadays. Police actually think that because they want you to do something, then you have to do it. That's the scary part. Go and subscribe to Pink Camera Magic, subscribe to her channel for future videos. Captain Save a <laughs> <laughs> so as it seems this audit starts off extremely friendly with frickin' media with his friend and they are interacting with some employees regarding whether they can or can't film where they are stood. Initially everyone's laughing, they're having fun and they are enjoying themselves but this is about to take a bit of a more sinister turn as the people stood in front of them are trying to figure out what's going on. Yes, the good old saying, what are you guys doing here? Here's the deal, what's going on? Flashing a bit of the badge as we can see here. It's really worrying, I haven't seen all of this audit, so it is going to be kind of like a blind reaction to frickin' media's video. This is actually not the full version, I will leave the full version in the description box of this video, but I'm going to do reaction to a condensed version, a smaller version, which I consider the best moment from the audit. So, without further ado, let's begin. Captain Saberhog. What are you doing? If you don't mind me, uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious what we're doing. But, just but for what reason? Just walking around taking oh, pictures. That's my business, huh? Just walk. Well, just your case in the place Chicago, to break in. Oh God, God, here we go with the bullshit. What? What are you guys to what's what's in there to steal? What? What's in there to steal? There's, what do you mean? There's, there's, there's two people here that don't find stuff. Oh, really? Oh, I just go to Best Buy to get my computers. Your building? Whose building is it? Uh oh. It's the state of Illinois. Yeah, not his. A fedora? Who's wearing a fedora? That's it's called a scally it's called a scally cap, not a fedora. Scally cap. Hell of a lieutenant you are. You don't even know what a damn fedora is or. The facility there is a state police facility. Yeah. So what? No. I mean, why is that? Why is that important? For what? Why is it important? Yeah. Oh, that's none of your business. That's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's none of your business. It's a secure. No, it's none of your business. Did, did I? Did I commit a crime? No. Did I commit a crime? Did I commit a crime? No. Then it's none of your business what I'm doing. Well, if your case in the place. Well, if if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk right now, wouldn't we? If it was a fifth, we'd all be drunk, wouldn't we? If if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk, right? So if if if, huh? I know. We're just walking around in public taking pictures, and we told you that, and that wasn't good enough. We here we are continuing to not really communicate with each other, but I don't know what you'd call this. Wouldn't matter if we were casing the place. It's still three law enforcement officers with 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 guns for two guys with cameras. That's we actually break the law. It's none of your fucking business what we're doing. Yeah. Pretty much. Now, this is a, a consensual encounter. Absolutely. That's correct. Yeah. Absolutely. So, if we were to ask for ID, I'd, I'd tell you now. Yes, that's because asking them for ID isn't the same as you then trying to say, "What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here." So, you know, when the guy says to them, "If I ask you for your ID, you're going to say no." So, why wouldn't you answer my question of why are you filming us? You know, it's pretty crazy. And also when officers and employees try to say, well, you won't give your name, so I'm not going to give mine. Yeah, I think it's slightly different and doesn't exactly work like that. After all, if you imagine, this guy's coming up to them. I don't think they went up to him. I might be wrong. But uh, so far, I guess he's just doing his job. He laughed at the beginning. He's trying to stay chill. But obviously he's there to do a job. And right now, you know, I think it's going to escalate. I'd, I'd tell you no. I'd say this is the only ID I got on me. Sorry. And that's my social security card. But you know then it starts to rise to a point where we can insist on ID. No, it doesn't. No, no. What's your reasonable articulable suspicion? What's your reasonable articulable suspicion? That I'm because I'm, I'm standing outside on the no, sidewalk. I'm casing it. That's not re reasonable. That's not reasonable. A reasonable a reasonable person would not come to that conclusion. Okay. 
time to move. Sure. Don't say, don't say it. What's that? You can ask. She she was nice. You can ask. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can ask. Yeah. No. We no. We didn't say you were nice. He he was a bit of, he was a bit of a yeller. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. He he kind of a, he kind of yelled at us and was kind of insistent we answer him and then he got really butt hurt we didn't. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely, you can. No, sir, you can't come ask me nothing. Come on, man. You know how many people have said that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. What was your question? You can, you can ask. You can more. You are more than welcome to ask. No, you can't. Your your lieutenant said you can't. You got to obey the chain of command. He's a bit of a douche nozzle. Bye, lieutenant. Walk of shame. Bye, Lieutenant. See you later, buddy. Have a good day. Have a better day. Have the day you deserve. You, guys have a good, whatever you, you too. Do you have to shave that, or did it just stop growing when you went brain dead? I, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean, if, if, you, if you want to hear educational background, I guarantee you I have a I know. you got at least a four-year degree in, 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 in criminal justice, at least to be a state cop. Oh, you're an attorney? Oh, you're an attorney. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. master's degree, but not an attorney. So do I. I cool. Well. Awesome, cool. So, what can you I tell me about myself? What can you? Oh boy, this turned into a massive ego showdown towards the end. Unfortunately, I think that this interaction did not go well at all. Frickin' Media and his friend are some of the most entertaining auditors on YouTube because they can have these funny banter type debates. However, sometimes that can actually be a bad thing depending on how you look at it. I think that most of the time being confrontational with employees or officers can actually warrant bad reactions. However, this guy did not act upon his, you know, ego being tainted. Instead, he tried to bring up that he was an attorney and that he was, uh, you know, qualified in psychology and all these other things. Okay, you know, no big deal. You're not going to convince these guys to respect you or take you seriously, especially after you just came up to them and started having a go at them for filming in public. So. It is kind of worrying, but at the same time, I like the interaction and I found it really entertaining. So far, that's been the most entertaining audit of today's show. Go and subscribe to Frickin' Media, link down below to his channel. Up next, we have a fantastic example of what happens when police time is wasted. Here we have a video of Anthony X having the cops called on him by some people working inside of this facility that he has stood right outside. Obviously they don't feel comfortable being filmed, they think it's somehow illegal what he is doing and they don't understand. So what I want to see is this cop actually honor his oath, protect the citizens and the independent journalists and go inside and educate the people that called the police. If anything, they need to give them a warning and say, look, stop calling us, you wasted our time this is a verbal warning, you should not be calling us when guys are simply filming from public. Yes, it's annoying, but guess what, they can do it. So in this situation, I hope this happens, but we all know what's going to happen. Chances are the cops going to side with the business, and Anthony X is going to have his work cut out. I don't know what happens, but I'll tell you what, we're about to find out, and then I'm going to react and see what happens. I'll leave a link in the description to this channel. Wait for the bus? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Okay. Um, were you guys? Were you like going on the property, recording in the windows and inside earlier? I was over here looking through the windows. Yeah. Other than that, though, I don't answer any, any more point, questions. Did you, did you go inside? I didn't go inside. No. No. Okay. That's so, the last question, though. I'm answering. Okay. Well, then right. let me let me just kind of explain something yeah. to you now. If you're not going to answer any more questions. Um, so this is private property here, sir. And so if you keep going onto the property, we're going to deal with the trespassing issue. Uh, Appreciate it. I was just explaining to your friends if, if you keep or if you go on the property, we're going to deal with the, the trespassing issue at this point. It is private property. You're totally well and fine where you are right now. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate you guys' cooperation. Well, it's open to the public. So are they? Are they saying? Did someone there say that they, if I want to go get like service, and they're going to deny us? They are. They, they are saying that they don't want you on the property. Okay. Because they never told me that. That's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Right, they, well, they, and that's the way trespass warnings work. They got it first verbally, you know. Well, it can also work through law enforcement yeah. if you look in the penal. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I, that's what I'm saying. That's why I was asking if they. Ask okay. you on their yeah. behalf. And that's what they're that's what they're doing. Gotcha. Okay. So I appreciate you guys' cooperation. Yeah, not yeah. Um, I mean, just understand. Don't go on the property. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate I'm you, brother. Not, we'll I'm good, yeah. way, okay. All right, you guys, thank you. Right. Honestly, the reason I walked away is not to be rude. I just want to see if you're gonna chase me down and violate my rights. Oh no. Come on. <laughs> hey, do you got a business card? I he gave me one. I gave one? Okay. Had, okay. Gotcha. You, you have a call number? Can you verbally say the call number? The uh, the call number? 
Number. Call number, cat number, whatever you call it. There's I'll just record it. Last four of the call for service. So, the left, so it's going to be... Okay, okay. Thank perfect. You. All right, you guys Appreciate it. Overall in this interaction, I think that the cop did well. Although towards the end, he did slightly give some directives in my opinion. I think that still, again, what happened wasn't what I wanted to happen. I really wish the cop would go in and educate the employees of this place and tell them to stop calling in situations like this. Now, it may be their first time being filmed by auditors, so, you know, I guess the cops are going to let them off. However, if the same people keep calling over different auditors, then perhaps then the cops would actually have a word with them and say, hey, you just can't keep calling us over this. They're not doing anything wrong. Obviously, Anthony was told that they actually didn't want him on the property, but you know, as long as he's filming from public and plain view, it's all good. He's just exercising his first amendment right. I don't get why the cops feel the need to give directives to guys exercising their rights. I feel like maybe it's because they think, oh, they're being annoying. So I just like tell them, yeah, you're a little boy. Like, you know, you, I'm the big policeman and you're wasting your time out here filming. You, know, you idiot. Like, it's so stupid. Anyway, I'll leave a link to Anthony's channel in the description. Please go and subscribe to him. Okay. Next up, we have something quite similar. This is Simp L Media. Uh, bit of an interesting name. Recently came across their channel and to do some reaction to one of their videos. This is pretty unbelievable, really. To begin with, we have a video of a, I think, business owner. It might be an employee, but they don't feel comfortable. They are being filmed by the auditors, seem to be out in public on the sidewalk. They don't want to be filmed, so the lady basically says, hey, can you stop filming? We don't like being filmed. Then she tries to say, hey, the customers don't like this. They're uncomfortable. It might affect our business. So, you know, just a firm warning, please don't do this. So that's roughly what I know happens in this video. I haven't watched the whole thing, so I'm going to react to this best moment and uh, see what happens. I'll leave a link down below to this channel in the description. So if you guys want to see the rest of their videos or the full version, then go ahead and do that. Right, let's get started. I'm gonna have to call the security in right now, actually. Have a good. What's that? Hey, when did you film me? Oh, I'll check this video. Video for what? I can't share that part. What? I can't share that part. But why? What's that? But why? Why, why, what? Why you can share information? We don't disclose it while we're working. Sorry? We don't disclose it while we're working. Yeah, but I think you need to ask about me, maybe myself. Am I agree to filming myself? It's not a public. Not in public? No. Very weird. Maybe, but, you know, when you're in public, you can film whatever you can see. Looks like this guy. Must hey, this has got an iPhone. Um, <laughs> Hey, 
Hey guys, nice. Huh? You can go to somebody else. The what? I can't hear you. We can tell you have to go to somebody else. That ain't gonna happen. You just going back? I can't hear with all the traffic. It's just keep yelling and shit. So you don't have to be in front of the camera. Filming the auditor back is stupid and a massive waste of time. I discussed this in previous audits and it makes zero sense for them to do it. It actually makes them look pretty stupid because they believe that the auditor will get upset that they are filming back. As if the auditor has something against the company, which is not true. Couldn't be further from the truth, to be honest. The truth is, is that the auditor and his friend, it sounds like he's with someone, they're just exercising their rights. You know, they might pick out a business to film for a few minutes. They might pick out a gym, a library, a city hall, police precinct, you know, etc. There's millions of examples. But when you give them a reaction, they're not going to just walk away. They're going to stay there and film what you're saying, what you're doing, how you're behaving. And it's a really, really interesting exchange between some of these companies because obviously a lot of them are ignorant to the First Amendment and they don't know that there's a whole community of auditors that are out there exercising their rights, disowning, uh, disowning, sorry, owning police and showing them how, uh, you know, the law really works. It's fantastic. So I can understand if people don't want their business film because they find it uncomfortable. Now, if you are stood blocking the way for people coming in, then I would recommend not doing that because then you are you are being a bit of a douchebag. But this auditor wasn't doing that. He wasn't obstructing people. He wasn't stood in the way. He wasn't, you know, swearing or cussing at people and going nuts, telling them not to go in there. So overall, I think this was a good audit and... You know, I think the employees felt annoyed, so they tried to film back because they're like, oh, hey, look at me, I can film too. Yeah, it just makes them look a bit silly. Anyway, go subscribe to this person's channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Audit Rewind Show. This is tonight's video over. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new before you leave to stay up to date with all of my videos every single evening. Thank you guys, I hope you're well, and I'll catch you tomorrow.